morning. I hope you're having a beautiful day so far. I wanted to share a little bit of my ideas with you on why I don't use exercise for fat loss personally and why that's not the driving factor behind why I recommend exercise to clients. So if we haven't met before, hello, my name is Tanessa. I'm the host of this group. I'm a weight loss coach and personal trainer. I help women with the tips, tools, and strategies to help you guys get to your healthy weight the best way possible, stop overeating, and feel really confident in your body. So I've been in the fitness industry for a long time, probably almost just over 10 years now. And I have learned from uh, so many teachers. I have learned so many different theories on what exercises are the best for fat loss, what exercises are the best for building your glutes. I've learned, you know, tips on how to, you know, eat to build muscle, how to eat to lose fat. This is the best way to lose fat. No, this is the best way. And you can imagine after 10 years of doing this, there's a lot of, you know, you have to learn to sift through what the truth is when you're presented with all of these facts on, you know, why we're losing weight and why we're not. And I have come to the conclusion, you know, after almost doing this for almost 11 years, that exercise is not for fat loss. And if you've never heard this before, or this is something completely new, you may literally be looking at me going, girl, you crazy. You crazy. What are you talking about? I'm doing five days a week in the gym right now. I'm doing so much cardio. What do you mean? What do you mean? And I'd love to uh, explain that to you because I am all about you hearing what I have to say, you hearing what other coaches have to say, and taking not only what works best for you, but evaluating all the sources you hear. I mean, just because it's in a magazine or on the internet, or somebody says it, does not make it 100% true. And I want you to always be um, critical-minded whenever you're hearing information about fat loss, weight loss, exercise, nutrition, because there is so much out of it out in the world there. And you know, if it were as simple as one little solution, we'd all be at our dream bodies right now, but that's not the truth. And that's because there's so much mixed messaging out there. So I want to explain to you why I've stopped using fat loss, um, exercise for fat loss. So I want you to think about this. Um, say you've been going to the gym for a lot of years. Can we not agree that there are people that you see in the gym, and maybe this is you, and you've been going for four or five years, and you're still the same weight. They are still the same. Their bodies look the same. They go four days a week. They don't look any more muscular. They don't look any leaner. What is going on? Why, why are we not losing the weight? So actually, it's really interesting. I'm reading a fascinating book right now and it's called uh, why we get fat and what to do about it because I think our job and our responsibility as you know people who care about our own health is to constantly be going out there and researching what is going on in our bodies and getting opinions from different you know authors and taking what works for us so this uh, why we get fat and what to do about it by Gary Tubbs so he had this whole book is basically like literally a thousand research studies and it's there it's quoted and there's resources that I've been checking out they looked at a long-term study of a, a bunch of men and women and they found two main things with these groups when they exercise number one that they found was that exercise when you become more active and when you increase the energy expenditure your natural appetite increases so Exercising naturally increases the appetite. That's thing number one that they found. Thing number two that they found, they took this group of men and women and trained them to run a half marathon. And they were is over 18 months, this research study, and I was just reading about this this morning. Over 18 months, they were you know, participating and training regularly so that they ran the marathon at the 18th month mark. So if you ever train for the marathon uh, with for a marathon or know anybody that has, you know how much goes into that. You know that it is a, you know, it's a regular multi exercise a week practice to be able to run that kind of distance. Well, what they found at the end of 18 months was that on average, the men in the group lost five pounds. On average, the women in the group lost zero. 18 months of training for a marathon with no weight loss. And so now we have to start looking at, you know, why or what is the purpose of exercise if not for fat loss? Because my true principle is I really believe that if you 
are exercising for the purpose of fat loss, two things are going to happen. Number one, you are going to hate it and it is going to suck and you are not going to look forward to it because you are doing it for fat loss. Number two, it is going to be the slowest, most painful journey to your goal body. So you're, it's going to suck because you're not doing what you enjoy. You're doing what you think you need to do to lose fat loss, which usually to most of us means hours and hours of cardio. Or number two, you're going to, you know, you're going to have the slowest journey. So if you are exercising for fat loss, it is going to be painful and slow. I'm going to say that right now. You might be able to hear me on that. You might lose a little bit of weight off the bat, but the entire journey is going to be slow. So what we need to think of instead is this is how I talk to my clients about exercise. I use exercise as a way to build that relationship back with yourself. So many of my clients that are overweight and that struggle, we know that to get overweight, you had to break your word and your relationship with yourself a whole bunch of times. How many times have you been like, no, I, I'm gaining weight. I need to put this junk food down. I need to stop. I need to stop eating. I need to, you know, take better care of myself. I need to eat more vegetables. And we know that. So what do you do? You say, I'm going to eat more vegetables. I'm going to start taking better care of myself. And then comes the weekend and we end up, you know, over drinking and overeating. And what you've essentially done is you've broken your word with yourself. And, you know, at the point where you get to that, like, I'm overweight, I'm tired of this, this has to change. When you get to that point, your word with yourself is shot. You have promised yourself you're going to change so many times that you don't have commitment to your word anymore. You're, when you promise yourself you're going to do anything, you already know that you never stick to it. So that is why we end up in this cycle of start and stop and start and stop is because your word to yourself is no longer of importance to you anymore. So when I talk to my clients about exercising, what I say is, you know, I want you to set an exercise baseline that is doable, repeatable, no matter what comes up during your week. Because at the end of the day, I want something that helps you build that relationship, that rapport, that commitment with yourself again. Because by the time you know you get 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds overweight, you're not feeling great about yourself. So the first thing that I do with my clients is have them reestablish that trust that when they say they're going to do something, they're going to do something. And this does not mean setting five day a week, one hour a day exercise program, because you're not going to make that. And every time you miss a workout, you break your word with yourself again. So it can even look something, you know, like three 30 minute walks a week is my baseline minimum. I commit to that when all else fails. This doesn't mean that you can't do five days a week. This just means that, you know, those weeks where they're absolutely insane, maybe it's a friend's birthday party, you have a dinner planned, work ran late, extra assignments. This is your baseline minimum that you are going to hit because exercise is all about the relationship with yourself. And that's how you build exercise. And the greatest thing is if fat loss is a byproduct of that process, amazing. That is an amazing extra benefit that your body gives to you. You give to exercise. Exercise's job is not to give to you. So what you want to think is if exercise is not for fat loss, then where do we go next? And we know it's with our food. And, you know, I could do a whole nother broadcast all about food. And I will be doing that in the coming up weeks. But what I really want you to understand is that when I say exercise is not for fat loss, Exercises for that relationship with yourself in order to stick to it so that you build that rapport, that trust again, is you need to be choosing things that are fun. You need to be choosing things that are joyful. And I'm going to give you a really good example because this is something that I've really narrowed in on this year. So I was one of those people that set five days a week for one hour exercise every single week on my goal list. Um, every New Year's that was my goal and I never hit it and I only got to three or four. And I did that over and over and over and over and over again. And I was so frustrated. But what I realized was I was doing what I thought I needed to do to look a certain way. And the fact is, it didn't really work because I was like, I don't want to do this, but I know I need to do this to look like this. So what I actually ended up doing is this, um, this really started honing in for me around August. This is when I introduced two completely new activities that had nothing to do with my goal body, but had to do with what I felt like and that was running and swimming and I'm not saying you have to run and swim I'm saying it's the introduction of these activities that I genuinely 
look forward to. When I run, there's a podcast that comes out on Thursday morning. I put it in. It is like a therapy session for my body and my mind with the deep breathing. I feel my brain opening up. It, I, my anxiety goes away. That's my Thursday. Every Friday morning, I swim with my mom and my boyfriend. And it is relationship building. And we look forward to those two days. And then the other days, I am also enjoying what I'm doing. So my point is, I am now exercising five to six days a week. And I don't even really think about it because I genuinely look forward to doing the activity for the activity itself, not what it is going to give me. So I'm going to keep it short today. Again, this book is... Um, one of the books that is getting me on track, kind of understanding, it's, it's full of research studies about why exercise uh, is not necessarily the way you want to lose weight and why that whole calories in, calories out argument is complete garbage. It is fascinating when you actually see the research studies and how many times we've been told that before and what those assumptions have been based off. This is why we get fat by Gary Taubes, T-A-U-B-E-S. But essentially, exercise for the love that you give to your body and the relationship you build with yourself and use the energy and focus and determination in the kitchen instead creating healthy recipes to support your body. You guys, I appreciate you be, being here. Um, I want you to leave me a comment below and I want you to let me know what of your exercises right now you're doing because you love it and because it brings you joy and which ones you're doing because they're giving you results that you think might lead to fat loss and it's okay because I've been there I'm changing my route and that's what I all I want you to do is I want you to critically evaluate is this working for me does this lead me to my body why am I actually exercising so leave me a comment below um, and don't forget to uh, hit like if you like this content so that I know that this is helping you for a healthier better life uh, have a beautiful day you guys and I will talk to you later this week in the group bye